guy with you along the kitchen, too. <laughs> He's got the pot for it. Ladies and gentlemen, I thought that would be a belly laugh. It is a pleasure. It is really, we got a very wonderful, don't I look cute? I look, you saw the picture, phone call from a stranger? It's like they hung up. <laughs> I feel like Betty, just she come out of a furnace. I want you to know, they just, thank you, thank you, Pan Berman. It's just, I want to tell you how happy I am, ladies and gentlemen, really, to see so many very smiling. Tonight we have a very wonderful audience here tonight, and I know last week we had an audience laugh. <laughs> <laughs> had a man, he was sitting in the second row, he was doubled up. I thought he was, then I found out his vest was buttoned to his pants. You know, it's remarkable. <laughs> really, all kidding aside, it's so many, this woman down here with the little, the, the little boy and the little girl down there, this little girl, how old are you, darling? I love you. This little girl, how old are you? Eight. <laughs> I love it. It's really, oh, you know, before I go any, uh, would you do me a favor? This, would you, the, we don't allow dogs in the studio. They've got a, no kidding. We've got a dog sitting over there. No, oh, then, oh no, I thought it was a dog. Pardon me, madam. I, uh, I mean, the poodle cut, fool me. It, uh, speaking of poodle cut, uh, and oh, speaking of dogs, we have in our audience this evening a very wonderful gentleman. This is on the level, just from California. He's a very wonderful trainer of that great dog that you see in MGM pictures. Lassie, I'd like to stand up and take a bow. Mr. Gaylord Gordon, let's give him a big hand. <laughs> just a minute. Mr. Gordon, would you please say a few words? <laughs> Thank you for taking a bow, Wow. And now, ladies and gentlemen, on with the show. We have a very wonderful show, and I'm sure, I think we have a good show, and I'm sure the first act that I'm sure you're going to enjoy is an act that's never been seen before. They were on the Sinatra show. And I'm sure... <laughs> no, it's my great pleasure. <laughs> it's my great pleasure to introduce one of the most entertaining and talented young ladies ever to set forth on, uh, uh, set foot on a theatrical stage. Comes from a very wonderful line of great theatrical people. It's my pleasure to present to you the very talented Miss Mitzi Green, ladies and gentlemen. Mitzi Green. Last night I had a dream, as clear as dreams can be. I was sitting in the palace, way up in the balcony. And as I looked around, there was no one there but me. Then suddenly the house lights dim. I heard the music play. And up went the curtain on the good old tour day. I saw the tour day. The two a day With every star that flashed along Broadway My dream of the palace Gee, what a thrill Nothing but headliners there on the bill They did their act for me And I could see Why every star was up in light today There wasn't any opening act No serene Cause everyone went on right next to closing his feet the world just seemed to shout, hey, hey, in my dream of the tour day. I roared at Willie Howard, Bert Williams made me scream, and Harry Lauder had to do three encores in my head. Ben Bernie, W.C. Fields, that whole immortal gang, and a lovely gal who stopped the show came on stage and sang. He's just my big and ordinary. He made me so I love him because he's, I don't know, because he's just my bill. <laughs> Over there, over there, over there, over there. 
laughed so well. I laughed as never before. And to think that it had to take a dream just to hear Fanny Bright sing once more. Look at me, oh, look at me. Oh, oh, I'm a A cow with a union fool. That's no bull. I'm a terrible excitement grew, and all at once I knew the last act was coming on for its final curtain call. The very silence seemed to say, here comes the greatest of them all. He had never played the palace, and now backstage he was happy. I saw every star standing in the wings, waiting to catch his act. Then the orchestra started a play, and oh, I'll never forget how it heard of that stage and cried. It's only the beginning. You ain't heard nothing yet. Professor! <laughs> Judy Garland made my dream a reality, and I hope it's here to stay. Cause she brought back the good old to our She's really wonderful. You know, I remember her when she was a little girl. She was a star in pictures. She would sing, I know what things make. Remember those pictures she was in? And I want to tell you that she's grown up now. She has a family, married to a very wonderful guy, have three children. Incidentally, I read in the paper, Gloria Stokowski, uh, Vanderbilt Stokowski just had another baby. She just gave the baby blocks to play with. 48th Street, 49th Street. <laughs> but, no, the baby. baby didn't weigh very much, just about five million dollars. Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> speaking of children, you know, there is nothing, I know that you folks that are watching our show tonight get a very big kick, especially you parents, out of being a parent. I do it with my little daughter, Vicki. I mean, there's nothing more thrilling than being a parent. Believe me, the most important thing in the world, I think, as a man, uh, when, when he becomes or expects to become a father. That's <laughs> Gentlemen, gentlemen, there's nothing to worry about. Just be calm, be calm. I'm sure we'll have good news for you in a little while. <laughs> Men, you know he's right. We gotta be calm. There's only one way to act in a situation like this. Be calm. I've been through these things before. Look at me, I'm calm. Which one of you is Mr. Mondello? I am. See, just be calm. <laughs> Congratulations, it's a girl. A girl? Yeah. Nothing to be nervous about? <laughs> I'm a girl with a Your order? 
I ordered a baby. Is it ready? <laughs> I'm looking for the baby doctor. I'm an obstetrician. What do you say? I said, I'm an obstetrician. Well, you vote the way you want, and I'll vote the way I want. <laughs> I'm looking for the baby doctor. I am the baby doctor. I'm expecting a little baby. I'm so nervous. I'm, I'm starting to... I love little babies. <laughs> I love babies. They, they sing, they cry, they laugh. They're so wonderful. They're so changeable. You know, I get awfully nervous. I'm just... Oh, there's nothing to be nervous about. No. We haven't lost a father yet. <laughs> <laughs> You're losing me, huh? <laughs> Besides, the baby won't be long. I don't want a long one. I want a short baby. <laughs> No, no, I mean, I mean the baby will be delivered very soon. You don't have to deliver. I'll pick it up here, put it in the bag. <laughs> I, I, I've been so nervous. I've been doing this. Hey, is it going to be a girl or a boy? I hope it's a boy. Oh, I don't think it'll be a boy. I don't know. <laughs> See what you can do. There's 50 extra in it. <laughs> You're nervous. I'm, I'm very nervous. You know, what, you know what I did all day yesterday? I was so nervous. I ate grapes all day yesterday. There's nothing strange about eating grapes. Off the wallpaper? I heard it's such a thing. Yes, you are nervous. I'm but very... look, don't be like the rest of these gentlemen. What do you mean? They're nervous. Yeah. Look at that man by the water cooler. Yeah. He's been here a whole day doing nothing but drinking water. He has. Uh... I'll bet in the past 24 hours he drank 20 gallons of water. Has he? I'll let you know as soon as anything happens. Take yeah, I'm awful nervous. I'm really, yeah. Uh... Find me. Uh, does drinking water calm you down? Why, you see, it's like this. I find that drinking water uh, relaxes my nerves. Do, does your voice always sound that way? Oh, no. Only when I talk. <laughs> <laughs> I never met this many people in them.
said, what are you doing? I'm, I'm trying to learn how to diaper the baby. I'm using this doll. Oh, that's wonderful. Let me see. <laughs> oh, this is terrible. <laughs> this is no way to diaper a baby. I'm sorry. Good night. When did you learn how to do this? I used to wrap gifts in Macy's. Oh, never mind. Yeah, yeah. Uh, do you know how to powder a baby? Do I? Sure, and I don't know. Yeah. Well, let me see you try it on the doll. Trying to baby. Oh, you I, powder I, it. <laughs> Stop it! What do you think you're doing? I thought I was breading a veal cutlet. I didn't know. <laughs> Glad to see you, sir. Glad to uh, see who you. Who are you, sir? I'm Sam Cosgrove at the American Weekly. The American Weekly? That's yes, right. And what do you want? I'm going to do a story about you and your wife. Hey, that's a story? Oh, by the way, where is your wife? My wife? Yeah, I sent her away to Miami for a rest. <laughs> yeah, she's tired. You went down there. You want to do a story? Oh, that's too bad. We got everything arranged. Arranged? You and your wife were to appear on a radio program. A radio program? Mm. Hobby Lobby. <laughs> <laughs> You must be kidding, boy. No, no, no. You're the man of the hour. I, Look, yeah. just read some of these telegrams which have been pouring in complimenting you. Look, yeah. read this first one from the Sage Bus Music Company. Go ahead and to read me. it. Yes, yeah, to you. Dear Mr. Canasta, on account of you, our firm has sold a million copies of that great song hit. What song? Little man, you had a busy day. Huh? Okay, Canasta, put this thing on. I don't know what you're doing. What are you doing? We're going to feed the baby. I don't know how to feed the baby. Well, My well, wife went away. Know. We don't want to get any germs on them, do we, see? No. no. Oh, I got the food here for the baby. I got something very good for the baby to eat. Hey, what are you doing? I'm feeding it to the baby. Oh, you can't give babies hot dogs. I eat them. Yep, but these are little babies. <laughs> these are weenies. Now, look, put that down here. Babies use formulas. Formulas? Yes, formulas. Now, here's the baby's formula. Now, yeah, what is yes. it? Milk? Milk. Tablum? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dextrose. Dextrose. Now, you mix this according to the directions. I'll be right back. Yeah, I don't know. Perhaps Wait. I can help you, Would sir. You help me? I'll be very happy. Thank God. Will First you, of all, I'll take this doll away. Yes, I'll take this away. I don't know how to do this. How, how do you do this? You have nothing to worry what about, do you sir. Do first? It says here, first you put some milk in the pan. Um, what? The milk. You put the milk in the milk pan. That's right. Put the milk in the pan. All right. That's fine. Good boy. Fine, you know? All yeah. right. Now, add some pablum. What is it? Pablum. All right. Good. Pablum. All right. Good. Add some more pablum. Put in it. Put it. Says put in two tablespoons. What? Put in two tablespoons. <laughs> no. Two tablespoons oh, of pablum. Oh, All right. Two more. Okay. Then. That's the idea. Yeah, now yeah. add some uh, dextrose. Dextrose. That's that's dextrose. Dextrose. That's fine. Yeah. Should help it a bit. Yeah. <laughs> there you are. All right, now good boy. Now you want to mix it up, mix it up. That's, that's the idea. idea. That's wonderful. Yeah. Hey, this is going to be chilling. Uh, I right. think you ought to taste it now, sir. Yeah, I'll taste it. <laughs> The baby thinks this stuff. Well, let me see. Let me. Oh, golly, that's terrible. Yeah, I think. Perhaps you mixed it wrong. Yeah, what do I do? Well, I'll tell you what you do. Put some more of this pablum in. Pablum in. That's the idea. Let's put the whole bottle. That's fine. Yeah, put some more milk. Some more milk in. Oh, golly. Now, do you want to taste it once more? Yeah. Yeah. Hey, this is good. I'll tell you what, try a bit of seasoning. I might help. I think we put a little salt in. Salt is fine. That's good. Yeah, salt. And babies like pepper. Pepper, yes. How about some mustard? Mustard, oh, oh, that's fine. And the ketchup. Ketchup for the babies. What are you doing there? And how about some Worcestershire sauce? Worcestershire sauce? Yeah. And children like Tabasco. Tabasco. Now we'll mix it all up. That's fine. Good boy. Hey, now what are you going to do, I'll sir? Find out. Now, I think to make it look good, we'll put a little cream on it. A little cream on it, huh? <laughs> a little cream. Just loosen it. Just shake it a bit. Shake it, sir. What shake it. Just shake it. Shake, shake it. it. Shake it. Yeah, shake it. Shake it. That's it. I thought it was... No, no. And here, we'll put a cherry on a it. A cherry on that Hey, doctor. Hey, doctor, there it is. It's a wonderful thing. What's that? It's a pablum Sunday. That's what it is. <laughs> Mr. Canasta, do you mind posing for some photographs? Yeah, I'll pose. I want to show the public you're a typical American father. All right. Photographer, come, come in here, please. In here, in there. Oh! What happened? Come on, everybody out. Yeah. Come on, we got to feed the baby. Get out. to one baby? I didn't know I didn't know. And what's this? <laughs> da, da. Oh, no. Oh, I want to say it was no 
offense to the babies of America, we love children, and your Uncle Milky loves you all. Ladies and gentlemen, now, speaking of youngsters, it's a great pleasure to introduce to you one of the top singers that we have in the country. I think this young fellow is destined really to go far. A big, big Texaco star reception for young Alan Dale, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Got some good news, honey. An invitation to the dark town ball. It's a very swell affair. All of the highbrows will be there. I wear my high silk hat and my frock tail coat. You wear a parrot gown and your new silk shawl. The rain can start about as big. We'll be the best dress at the ball. Well, I'll be down to get you in a taxi. You better be ready for the half past eight. Now, dearie, don't be late. You want to be there when the band starts playing. Remember when we get there, honey. The two steps time we're going to have them all. I'm going to dance out for to my shoes. When they play the jelly roll, the blues. Yes, tomorrow night, after dark, I'm shutters fall. Oh, I'll be down to get you in a taxi, honey. You better be ready for the half past day. Look out. Now, dearie, none to be late. I want to be there when the band starts to play. Remember when we get there, honey? The two says, three says, I'm gonna have them all. Dance out both of my feet.
Di, you're really wonderful. You know, this year is leap year, the year when any young girl is permitted to leap at any gentleman and propose to him. Well, I know one young lady who's very happy about it all because she's had a lot of trouble trying to find a husband. The very wealthy, continental socialite, Countess Daphne. <laughs> which is right near shaving on the leg. You know where that is, my darling. <laughs> oh, incidentally, yes. tell Mr. Wellington, uh, are you British? Is that Are you British? If I was any more British, I couldn't understand myself. <laughs> incidentally, darling, come down here where they can hear us. Yes, sir. Um, do, you, uh, do you remember my uncle, Sir Guy Hummelpalsh? Ozzy. What is it? Ozzy. Uzi? Uzi? You mean Izzy? <laughs> so guy almost thought. We buried him, you know. Well, they won. I said we buried him, you know. Dead? Couldn't it? He didn't say a word. <laughs> oh, well, my darling, I must be off. Ah, yes, you certainly are. He's the kind of joke who bring back radio, you know? <laughs> And I was attracted by his dough. Ah, what a romance. Late at night, when no one was looking, he would sneak into the bakery and stuff caraway seeds into the pumpernickel. He was a seedy looking small. I can see it so clearly, and here he comes now. <laughs> Please. He's 
are. I am the richest man in the Tyolean Alps. I am a great power. You heard of me, Tyolean power? <laughs> Don't add <I> live. <laughs> Darling, what do you think? What do you think of my little hunt with the dog here? Isn't it a nice dog? You know what kind of dog that is? Is that with, with the dog is? This is if you don't know what a headache the dog is? You know what kind of dog this is? Spit. Spit? Not unless you spit it in first. <laughs> My darling, I have a present for you. It's a lovely, beautiful present. I found this, I found this in the Rhine River. Oh, it's beautiful. Yes, yes. I didn't know there were any stones in the Rhine. <laughs> oh, here it comes. <laughs> You didn't hear of rhinestones? <laughs> What's the matter? This is pretty, folks. Fire! Hey, the Baron tells the snappers. Well, ah, oh, that boom bunny, the king, the boom bunny, the king, the dog, the boom bunny, the king, the boom bunny, hot tickety tick dog. Every hour on the hour, yes, he would sprinkle me with flour. I was a baker. <laughs> He was also very fickle, ran away with some articles. I left her for a cute piano twist. Well, Daphne, I must be off. Oh, you said that before. I'll keep saying until I get a laugh. Come on, Marco. Let's go. The next one, a handsome young athlete. His physique was a thing to adore. In short, he was traveling. Strong drinking Avalon, manly and muscular, healthy corpuscular. He was my love number four. Chatham song, all American girls. Ah, oh, what an engagement party we had. The gymnasium was beautiful. I was a vision in my mambo che gown, and he looked distinguished in his fat suit. I can see it so clearly. And here he comes now. <laughs> Play another chorus of Dinah. <laughs> I can see it all so clearly. And here he comes now. I said to him, Hurry up. I said to him, Jack. No, sure, Jack, not sure. I, I said to him, Jack, will you marry me and let me be your lawful wedded wife? He looked at me, and then he looked at the basketball court and said, Play ball. Isn't he the musky the wife? Stop it, it hurts. I remember the first time Jack Armstrong took me into his virile arms, and just as he was about to kiss me, a gun went off. And off went Jack. I am. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I saw one of the great acts of all times make an appearance a few weeks ago at Radio City Music Hall, and we're very honored to have him on the Texaco Star Theater tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, 
the very, very sensational Diagori. Come on, here they are.
And now, ladies... Oh, I feel so loose tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, it's my pleasure to introduce... That's a new act, and speaking of new faces, it's my pleasure to present to you one of the great, great favorites that we have now in the Texaco Star Theater. I'm sure that you're really going to enjoy him. You've seen him so many weeks here, and believe me, he's gone over terrifically. Ladies and gentlemen, here he is, young Jimmy Nelson. Come on, we are. I got a song for you. It goes like this. Oh, the poodles are come and the poor little nuts. Girls used to walk them, but now they're haircuts. La da da dee. Just a minute. La da Danny. Yeah. What are you so happy about tonight? Happy? Mm -hmm. Have a date with my new girlfriend tonight. Girlfriend? Yeah. <laughs> oh, she's throwing a party tonight. <laughs> she is? Yeah. What kind of a girlfriend? Oh, she's a lady wrestler. A lady wrestler? Yeah. And she's throwing a party? <laughs> I'm the party she's throwing. I see. Timber! <laughs> I don't overdo it, fellas. Never mind. <laughs> I certainly did like her. She's a wonderful girl. Listen, since when have you been interested in girls? Well, I... What? I said, since when have you been interested in girls? <laughs> Ever since I found out they weren't boys, you jerk. Yeah. Never mind. Yeah. Now, that's no way to talk. It's not? No. Besides, that, don't call me a jerk. Yeah? Come out here and say things like, I'll have you know I date girls, too, stupid. Who wants to date stupid girls? I, I don't mean that. No. Say things like that to me. Well, I've got half a mind. What'd you say? <laughs> I said, I've got half a mind. So I noticed. I always say that half a mind is better than none. What do you always say? <laughs> I say the last customer that came in the station, you didn't give him the Haviland story. The Haviland story? <laughs> Sounds like a movie. What's the plot? Well, no plot, Danny, except that custom-made Haviland is the best motor oil your money can buy. Is that a fact? <laughs> I said that. I know you said that, but you didn't explain to him that, that Haviland is a heavy-duty motor oil. Really? Yes. And that it even exceeds heavy-duty requirements in oil, well, for oils used in trucks, <laughs> buses, <laughs> and giant bulldozers. Who owns a bulldozer? <laughs> you can't bulldoze me? No. I'm just trying to tell you to please remember to tell our customers why Texaco products are better. And, of course, always be courteous. Can I say something now? Yes. <laughs> You've had two pages of dialogue. Look, kid, I was in the back of the station wagon a little while ago. You were? Yeah, talking about courteous. A woman spilled a shopping bag, and she got sugar all over the floor. So what did you do? Well, I kind of swept it out and cleaned it all up. Well, good for you. Yes. You know, Danny, it's little, little extra services like that that prove to her that her Texaco dealer is the best friend her car ever had. You can say that again. I forgot to charge you for the gasoline. What? Danny, <laughs> we can't make any money that way. I wonder who it could be. Oh, look, it's our, it's our friend Humphrey Higsby. Who is it? Humphrey. Humphrey, come on over here so we can talk to you. Easy, easy, easy. <laughs> Don't fall. Don't fall on those cans of oil down there. Watch it. Yeah, well, he falls flat on his pavilion. Here he is. <laughs> Humphrey, come up here and talk to us, will you? <laughs> Humphrey, <laughs> how do you do, gentlemen? Yeah, what was the question again, please? That was no question. Danny was just telling me he's going out tonight. Oh, socializing, eh? Yes, yes. You know, if I wanted to socialize, I, I could end up in who's who. <laughs> you couldn't end up in what's that? Now, just a minute. Yes? Say, I've got a wonderful idea. Danny, why don't, you, why don't you take Humphrey along to the party tonight? Yes, that would be jolly. Oh, no, 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 no. No, no, he wouldn't enjoy himself. Why not? There'll be girls there. Girls there? Yes. <laughs> He's right, James. As far as girls go, I can take them to leave them. Yeah. Let me know where you leave them. The line forms to the right. Just a minute. Yes. Matter of fact, I, I could go along and tell some of my famous riddles. Riddles? Like what? Well, like, uh, why is a fire cheese gasoline like a cat on a red-hot griddle? Oh, this is going to be large. <laughs> why is fire cheese gasoline like a cat on a red-hot griddle? Executively. Why? Because it has lots of get up and go. Get it? Get up and go. Cat on the griddle. Oh, 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 oh. Call the umpire, Mother. I just found a screwball. Leave him alone. Yes. Besides, I thought that was very good, Humphrey. Thank you, yes. But Fire Chief has more than that. It has? Certainly. Fire Chief not only gives you plenty of pep and power when you need it, but, well, it gives you more life and dash than a litter of Dalmatian pups. Run, run, down, boy, down. Quiet. Down, Dalmatian. You see, it's, it's the emergency power gasoline that sells at regular gasoline prices. I see, yes. In other words, you might say that... Uh, that every thankful makes you thankful. Oh, that was good. Yes, that was very good. <laughs> I'll turn in your head and report to the suitcase, will you? Leave him alone. Yes. 
As a matter of fact, I, I'm going to sing. Sing? Yes, you know, it's a good day for singing a song. That's a music cue if I ever heard one. Me <laughs> too. Yeah. I'd like to sing. You keep out of this. Alan! Alan Ross! <laughs> Yes, it's a good day. Yes, for singing a song. And it's a good day. For losing a lot. Yes. It's a good day. I want to sing. How could anything go wrong? It's a good day from morning till night. Yes. It's a good day. I said good morning, sir. But I ain't been trying to. When do I sing? You know, you got to get going. If you're going to make a show. And, and you know, you got to go to work. Yes, it's a good day. For shining your shoes. And it's a good day. Oh, come on. For losing the blues. So take a deep breath. And throw away your blues. It's a good day for the Lord until night. It's a good day for the Lord until night. It's a good day for the Lord until Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you very much. I'd like to say you've been a very, very wonderful audience tonight. I... Well, Danny, aren't you going to thank the people? What? Oh, yes, yes, yes. Uh, merci beaucoup, madame and monsieur. Uh, je crois, je suis, and away I go. Just a minute. Yes. How come you're thanking the folks in French? Well, uh, you see, last night I saw the picture, an American in Paris. Oh, you did? Yeah, and today I feel so Frenchy. Oh, I know what you mean, Danny. Yes. It's a wonderful movie. Yes. It has... It has all the glamour of gay Paris rolled into one magnificent production. I can see it all now. What? The Eiffel Tower. Beautiful women. The Champs Elysees. Beautiful women. The Latin Quarter. Beautiful women. Beautiful women. Don't be such a wolf, Nelson. No. <laughs> all the most, the most colorful, exciting extravagance in all Paris is the fabulous Beaux Arts Ball. Ooh la la. <laughs> Such a homey crowd. 
In fact, I've never seen a homier crowd in my life. <laughs> I'm only fooling. Look, Mr. Bagwell. How are you, Mr. Bagwell? And how is Mrs. Bag? Well, ah, I made a funny. <laughs> but Paris, Paris, I love Paris. I feel just like a paradise. <laughs> what am I saying? But tonight, I will sing a song for you that will never die. That is, until I do it for you now. Monsieur Rolf, Monsieur Kranz, if you please. <laughs>
descending and we thank you for attending. But before we reach the ending, may we ask, remember to be loyal to our gasoline and oil. When they save you time and toil, you'll be glad. Now the clock is striking nine up, but just before we sign up, remember Tuesday nights on television, Milton Berle, presented throughout the United States and to our armed forces overseas. Saturday afternoon on the radio, the Metropolitan Opera, presented by your Texaco dealer. The best radio ride I've ever had.